annual Image of God Women's Conference, and I can't imagine being in a better place on a day like today than with you here and with the Lord. The snow, I can't believe it. I'm delighted to be here with you again this year. Grateful that you were able to make it to this year's event, and we have so much in store for you today. Um, just a few housekeeping notes before we get started. Letting you know that the sanctuary is going to be closed today during lunch so that Britt Nicole can do her sound check. So that means if you have a purse or bag or anything that you might need, just to make sure that you take that with you and know that you're not going to be able to get back in during lunch. Also, after every break, when you see the lights flicker, you know that it's time to come back in, that we're going to be starting in a few minutes, so you can just kind of make your way to your seat. And we have a lot going on for you today. We have music from Carrie Roberts and Britt Nicole. <laughs> Messages from my dear friend Linda Isaiah, Danita Harris. Fantastic. Chicken from Chick-fil-A, chocolate, lots of prizes. That's the ingredients for a good day. Just want to start right off with a prayer of thanksgiving for you, that you are here, that you made it, and when I look around and see how beautiful that you all look, um, it's a reminder that we thank God for the gift of our bodies and our health, but also for our heart appearance. And today's scripture theme is 1 Peter 3 through 4, and it says, Your adornment must not be merely external, braiding the hair, wearing gold jewelry, or putting on dresses. But let it be the hidden person of the heart, with the imperishable quality of a gentle and quiet spirit, which is precious in the sight of God. And that's what this year's theme is about. It is more than gold. A reminder that you are more precious than earthly riches, and that the God Almighty, you are a name. And not just a number, but you are a name. And that's what we hear in Isaiah 43, 1. Do not fear, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by name, and you are mine. And my prayer is that if there's any part of your mind or heart that doesn't know that, that has forgotten that, my dear sister, that you will be reminded of that today. And I know that we do that. Sometimes we fake it. We're like fool's gold but that we will be God's gold, and that with those tools that the Lord gives us today, that we will be unstoppable. And with that, we can begin our program, and just really grateful and blessed to talk to our first uh, artist this week, Carrie Roberts. She was like a beam of sunshine on the phone when we had the privilege of talking to her, Len and I, on the morning show this week on The Fish, and we could definitely use that on a day like today. And Carrie started in music when she was five, her dad's a pastor, her mom uh, also does music. She's been singing ever since, very gifted. Her second album, Time for the Show, just received a five-star review, and she's just a great, great person with a powerful reminder through music that we serve a mighty and faithful God who loves us like crazy. Please help me welcome Carrie Roberts. Do I hope, do I hope?
faithful, amen.